Imagine the thrill of traveling at the speed of light, where a journey to the farthest reaches of our universe becomes possible. For scientists and enthusiasts alike, this has been a tantalizing idea for decades, driving them to explore and innovate in search of a way to make it happen. And now, with advancements in technology and the tireless efforts of NASA, the dream might turn into a reality. Join us on a journey to the unknown as we discover the new technology that will help unlock the mysteries of our universe. Light speed is the speed at which light travels through empty space. This speed is really fast, around 671 million miles per hour. It's the fastest thing in the universe. The discovery of speed of light is often credited to Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe, who observed in the late 16th century that the positions of the stars were unchanged even as they traveled great distances. However, it was not until the late 19th century that the concept of light speed was properly understood through experiments conducted by scientists such as James Clerk Maxwell and Albert Mickelson. The speed of light is considered a cosmic speed limit, and it sets a limit on how fast information can be transmitted through space. In other words, if we want to send a message from one planet to another, it can only travel as fast as the speed of light. So why is the speed of light considered the ultimate speed limit? The answer lies in Einstein's theory of special relativity, which posits that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. As objects get closer to the speed, their mass increases infinitely, making it impossible for anything to ever get there. The constant and unchanging nature of the speed of light is what sets it apart and makes it the limit. According to the theory, the speed of light is always the same for all observers, no matter their movement relative to the light source. This means that a beam of light moving past you would appear to be moving at the same speed, whether you are approaching or moving away from it. This constant nature of light speed has far-reaching impacts for our understanding of space and time. It means that the passage of time can appear to differ for two observers moving relative to one another. This is known as time dilation, and it is one of the most bizarre and fascinating aspects of special relativity theory. This also indicates that the speed of light imposes a hard limit on how quickly information can be transmitted throughout the universe. It also limits the speed at which matter and energy can travel. For example, if we wanted to send a spacecraft to a distant planet, it would have to travel slower than the speed of light because its mass would become infinitely large as it approached the speed of light, making acceleration impossible. In physics, this speed is also used as a reference point for other velocities. It sets a limit on how fast energy, matter, and information can travel in the universe. The speed of light is not just a theoretical concept, it has practical applications in our modern world. For example, the speed of light is used to calibrate GPS satellites and even to determine the speed of internet data transmission. It's also used as the basis for the metric system of measurements in physics. With the meter defined as the amount of distance light travels in a vacuum in almost a billionth of a second. To be precise, that's one of 299,792,458 of a second. But the speed of light has repercussions for our understanding of the universe that go beyond practical applications. The light emitted by distant stars and galaxies takes time to reach us when we observe them. This means that when we observe these celestial bodies, we're actually looking at them as they were in the past, giving us a glimpse into the history of the universe and allowing us to study its evolution over billions of years. NASA's space exploration efforts have been focused on exploring the vastness of our solar system. The organization has been dedicated to launching spacecraft capable of covering vast distances in space at high speeds. Parker Solar Probe is NASA's most advanced high-speed spacecraft. This spacecraft has achieved high speeds by utilizing gravity assist from planets to increase their velocity. Launched in 2018, this incredible machine has already broken two records the closest spacecraft to the sun, and the fastest speed ever achieved. The Parker Solar Probe made its closest pass to the sun on April 29, 2021, at just over 10 million kilometers from its surface. During this time, the probe was traveling at an astonishing 150 kilometers 
per second relative to the sun, a record-breaking speed that has never been achieved before. To put that into context, at this speed, the Parker Solar Probe would cover the entire circumference of Earth in just 4.5 minutes, or about 40 minutes to fly from Earth to the moon. This incredible speed is about 0.05% of the speed of light. But the Parker Solar Probe isn't done yet. The flyby on April 29th was only the 8th of 24 planned before the mission's end in late 2025. On each pass, the probe sails out past Venus, using the planet's gravity to shape its orbit and push it closer to the sun. With each pass, the probe's speed increases, with a planned top speed of around 200 kilometers per second. That's nearly three times faster than the previous record holders, a pair of Helios probes that studied the sun in the 1970s. The Parker Solar Probe will be less than 7 million kilometers from the sun at its closest approach, more than six times closer than the Helios probes. The Parker Solar Probe's mission is not just about speed, but it's also about the exploration of the sun itself. The probe's mission is to measure the magnetic fields in the area and trace the flow of energy within the sun, shedding light on the mysterious workings of our nearest star. While this spacecraft has reached impressive speeds, it is still a long way from reaching the speed of light. Even if it was to reach this speed, the harsh conditions of space travel would make it impossible to carry living beings on board. The intense radiation and the lack of life support systems would make it a fatal mission for humans or any other organism. Aside from developing faster spacecraft, NASA has also been working on developing new propulsion technologies, such as ion thrusters, solar sails, and antimatter propulsion systems. NASA has also been conducting research on various physics and cosmology theories. One theory is the existence of wormholes. Wormholes, also known as Einstein-Rosen bridges, are hypothetical space-time shortcuts that could enable faster-than-light travel. The theory is based on general relativity principles and proposes that these wormholes could exist as bridges between distant points in space-time. Instead of having to travel vast distances in space, the idea is that a spacecraft could enter a wormhole and emerge much closer to its destination. This would significantly reduce the time and the energy required for space travel, allowing us to accomplish the previously impossible missions. However, NASA is not only exploring the wormhole theory, the space agency is also looking into developing a revolutionary propulsion system known as Warp Drive, the Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory. Also known as the Eagle Works Laboratories, is a NASA research facility devoted to researching and developing advanced propulsion technologies for space travel. The lab conducts research on a wide range of topics, including the study of matter and energy behavior in extreme environments, the testing of advanced propulsion systems, and the development of new space exploration technologies. One of the key areas of focus at Eagle Works Laboratories is the concept of a warp drive. Warp drive, according to theory, would allow a spacecraft to travel faster than the speed of light by creating a bubble in space-time and moving the spacecraft within this bubble. The concept of a warp drive was first introduced in the science fiction series Star Trek, but it has since become the subject of very serious scientific investigation. Eagle Works Laboratories is currently investigating the feasibility of this concept using electromagnetic fields and the behavior of matter and energy in extreme environments. Warp drive, if proven possible, would completely transform our understanding of space travel and the universe as a whole. There would be no end to the possibilities for exploration and discovery. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and watch these ones as well.